I will demonstrate how to assemble and disassemble a Carl Storrs grasper. This method can also be used with a medicine balm scissor, the mains grasper and a fenestrator grasper. In this particular scenario we are using the Johan forcep. Please ensure that it is not to be mixed up with the Escalop Universal Grasper. There are different sizes, different models, and they cannot be interchanged. To begin with, you'll pick up the insert and the black sheath. This end is a connection end to the handle, and this end is what slides over the insert. It's important to note that the entrance of the black sheath, I'm not sure if the camera will actually pick this up, but there is a circle with two edges. This marries up with the tip of the insert. You can see it's in a similar sort of shape. So, as you put the insert inside the sheath, you should need to make sure those two bits marry up. If they don't, just simply rotate the, oh, happened a bit too quickly, rotate the insert until it goes in. And now you see that it goes in. Once it's inside, you'll need to rotate a little bit more. And this locks the insert in place. It's only a rotation lock. It doesn't mean it's fixed in place. So it can easily come apart again if you rotate it once more. Once it's secured on, you can hold on to the sheath and it just simply slides into the handle. The handle will adjust itself to make the fit. You can now activate the grasper. There are some models of click line handles that would have a ratcheting joint. It is best to make sure the ratchet is disengaged when doing this. However, we do not have ratcheting joint. To disassemble, you just press this button and pull the sheath out. Again, the handle adjusts itself to allow release. Then it's just as simple as rotating and pulling out. That concludes the demonstration of how to assemble and disassemble a Carl Storrs grasper.